Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use this code, this autocomplete by Lexicos, to um, grab variables and functions within the working script you're on and uh, offer them up in your um, IntelliSense. It, it only works for, um, it'll grab those that are, it, it requires a saved file, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, this is the file. After you save it, um, so let me see here, you what you do is you you um, you save this autocomplete.lua into your um, and you can see it here with the path that it's hovering over. I have it in my custom folder where where site is run from. So you save that there, um, and then after that, um, you need to create a. Well, actually, you don't have to create it, but it was very odd in site. Was when I went to um. When I went to save it, it asked if I wanted to override it, and yet the um, person, um, I didn't have, a, I have a global, where is it here, global Lua script, but for some reason, unless I'm blind here, I don't see a local, um, the user properties for, um, I should have a user Lua script, and that's what you need to save it as, and so um, when you, you uh, need to create a another file this user Lua script right here I have and then add in this information so you you, you tell it where it's going to save it um, and you point to that autocomplete dot LUA file that you have once you do so um, now dynamically like in this test file watch this as I start typing these are variables um, and I you know let me let me try oh I do have these two um, and actually let me get rid of the those shouldn't when I'm when I'm using it as an expression, right, it um, it shouldn't need those. And so as long as I've saved this, now when I start typing, um, let's do more. So see how it's offering that up as an option or a cat, right? Those are those are dynamically, it, now granted, again, I have to save this file, but it's, it's grabbing these and offering them up. So if I had a long file where I was um, having variable names um, or function calls, I think it grabs my functions as well. Let's Oh, there's a label. So my underscore label. See how it grabbed that? I don't remember. I think it grabs functions. Let's let's do a test func. So I'm not going to actually do anything in here. Let me save it. And now, if I start typing test func, there it is. Um, so I could I would be able to do that. It's it's. I don't think it's going to offer up. It's not like the other one that I have that just demonstrated where um, where it'll show you the parameters. Um, so let's try this. So test func. Yeah, see, it's not offering that. And because I, I didn't rerun my other one, it this test func is not in my library where it would um, automatically pull this stuff up in there. Uh, but this still, it's, you know, for the variable names alone, that when you have a long script and you know you named something but you can't quite remember what you named it, to be able to just start typing and be able to see it, um, that is going to be incredibly helpful. Thanks.